Welcome to the Weekly Blends Reality Check. I'm Lassa Lund. I'm Sam Lacina. I'm Greg Santee. And I'm Corey Burris. So we often revisit uh, the, the video games, the movies, and the TV shows that we play and watch. Uh, we give our initial impressions on our podcast, and then we do these video reviews uh, a couple months after playing the games or watching the movies so that we can give a, a balanced perspective on them. And this week we are talking about Portal 2. Now, so. now Portal 2 is one of those interesting games because it came out and it was like hype, right? I mean, like you read oh, reviews, yeah. everybody's like, it's the greatest game ever, yeah. it's the game of the year. Right. So this I think will be kind of an interesting look back, this and some of the other ones that we're doing, like just to kind of look back and does it really stand the test of time? Absolutely. So. Um, so initial thoughts on the campaign. I mean, that's obviously kind of the uh, the, the mainstay of this game. I mean, the, the original Portal was only about four hours long. This one's a little longer, about six to eight, depending on how quickly you played it or, yeah. how, or how smart you are when it came to the puzzles. So um, I'll, say, I'll say creative, so how, many, how creative how many, you were. <laughs> how, many, how many hours did it take you, Greg? Because that would tell us how smart I know. you were. <laughs> <laughs> I did get stuck on two of the puzzles. I mean, I think and I it's, had to like make up my own way through it. it but like, weird. that's the cool thing is like you don't ever feel like you want to go and use a walkthrough online because the the puzzles are so well sense. done. Oh. Yeah, and I mean, the joke is just find the 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 square concrete block right to to know where to go next. But uh, but they really do force you to think about some stuff, and the puzzles are often much more simple. And that's than they first appeared. What I thought was interesting, yeah. I was like, I would go through a puzzle and I'd be like, I'd make it hard. I am so genius because I figured out a way that I don't think they meant for you to do that. And then you'd look back, and that's actually that's what they there's meant like for no you to other do. way to do it. Yeah. Right. Only, and they they really took what they began with Portal, and they 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 used. That is a jumping off point. They threw in a whole bunch of new elements, like the light bridges, like the, I don't remember what they call them, the tunnels. Yeah. Um, and of course now the gels. I, I will say that, I mean, that's, to me, that's the genius of the game is the storyline, right? The dialogue. I mean, the storyline is. The dialogue more than the storyline. Yeah, there's not really a, there's not a great story so much. It's, it's like, it. it's like Left 4 Dead in that it's very under, like, you know, it's in the subtext, right? But the thing that's cool about it is as you're going through it, you're discovering the story as, as you're walking through rooms and they didn't say anything about it. So you walk in, like, the entrance yeah. room where everyone signs the papers to become a, yeah. a, an actual tester and you're like, wow, so this is where they stood in line and waited to go through and this is the front desk where this, right. the secretary sat. It, it's just a really cool way to discover discover the story, I guess. Well, and I think it's cool how they transition between like the official testing rooms and then like you often go behind the scenes Yes. and there's still lots of gameplay there. You know, it's not just a transitional point. It's they found ways to put puzzles in areas that aren't the official testing chambers. That being said, um, what is it like? I mean, since we're looking at this a couple months out, um, what was it like? Um, have you guys tried to go back and play it again? Because I haven't played I the campaign, I but I mean, you know, yeah. That's that's the main problem with portals. I don't think I will go back and play it. Yeah. I mean, I'll play the co-op until I get it until I finish that, which I still haven't finished. But I don't think I can see myself going back and replaying the puzzles because why would I want to do that? I tried doing because I got the PS3 yep. version, which came with a copy on your computer, and so like during lunch, I was like trying to go through it, and I'm like flying through levels, right. and it's and once, once you, you know once you know what solution, to do, yeah. it's actually not that great of a game. Well, and this I mean, one may even you know, dial down the skill. Yeah. Of the like the precision of the shooting of the portals, which makes sense, which was which nice. Is nice, like, yeah. Because it's stupid but when you it shoot a portal. The repair, but because off. if you know what to do, yeah, you can just fly yeah. through. It is really cool though to see Valve taking the direction of a lot of their games, um, where it's built around co-op, and so they added in this whole yeah. other campaign specifically for co-op. I mean, own storyline, own characters, and those types of things. And you cannot play it without a human Which, partner. There's no AI all, component or anything like that. And it is referenced in the main dialogue, right. the main campaign's dialogue, where these two robots that you're playing right. in co-op come from, is, which is really great. And the co-op is just so well done where you have to work yeah. as a team. You have to, and, and not only in the game are you working as a team, but you're also talking back and forth, mm -hmm. trying to figure out, okay, how does the solution work? Oh, I think we should try this. Oh, I think we should try that. You know, experimenting. Yeah. You know, in the game with the those aha solutions. moments that it captures them all of together. That. Yeah. You know, it's just it just takes the whole portal experience to the next level. And the way that they design these puzzles for two people to work collaborative, collaboratively on them is just ingenious. It really yeah. is. It is. I think the negative though for the co-op is again, you know, if you play, if so, say I hadn't played it, if I were to play with you after beating it, right. Unless you are able to stop yourself and just let me go ahead, you're going to be solved. We're going to be going through the, the puzzles, and I won't. We be did learning. that a little bit because I had played through about half of them, I think, and then Lass and I have been playing through them together. And some of them I had forgot. I was <laughs> going to say his old man just kicked in, and he had a little amnesia. But <laughs> but beyond that, I did kind of like kind of let him do it. But I'm with you; it loses some of that. The, the purest form is when two two yeah absolutely fresh people right. play together. But there's still, I mean, even. 
there's still tons of enjoyment on it from either side, you know, whether you're playing through it again or playing it through it for the first time. So, yeah, I would give it a five out of five. I think, you know, the, the experience is so well crafted. The story, the humor is stellar. You know, I, I think there is a little bit of sameness to the first portal, but I don't think in this case it's a problem. I'd give it a five out of five. I tend to leave, lean a little bit more towards the four out of five just from the standpoint of, because there aren't challenge maps, I know they're gonna do it, yep. but promise of a future DLC that might or might not be free is not enough for me to say that this is worth it. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, I think everybody should play this game. It's an amazing game, it's an amazing co-op experience, but again, you lose that, that freshness by playing through it once. And so you, if you combine co-op and single player, you're looking at probably a 10 to 11 hour experience. And mm -hmm. for us that have to buy our own games, that's not a lot, you yeah. know, and there's no replay value, at least in the single player campaign, other than maybe a couple of achievements here and there. Right. So I would, I'd probably, I would give it a solid four, maybe a four point two or four point two. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you can't do that. I, nope. Only because, solid, solid only numbers. because you cannot, it's you don't want to replay this game. That's really I can't I cannot give it a five, and and feel good about it because I won't play the game again. Yeah. So Sam has never played. It. I have, I've only played co-ops though. So. Which you would give? I'd give the co-op, I'd give that a 4 out of 5, because it is really fun, but again, I played it with two different people, and the first person I played with, he hadn't played it, so it was a blast just trying to figure it out, but then I played with a friend who, and she had beaten the entire game, so she was just like, put your portal here, put your portal there, and so for yeah. that reason, yeah. the, you know, it's definitely it's the like first time through the co-op, it's a blast, <clears throat> so I'll give it so a So it sounds like, total, we give Portal 2 a 4 out of 5 stars.